We are here near Port Elgin, Ontario at the Saugeen River Access number 13. We are going to put our canoe in and canoe down to Lake Huron. We're off. All right, we're over on the far side of the river. It's a little shallow today, but it looks like it should be good flowing over here. And we are off. Lincoln, how does the water feel? Yeah, is it chilly or warm? Warm. All right, we don't really see a clear path here. Looks like we're gonna be bottoming out, but I don't know, hopefully, hopefully we can make it through somewhere. Woo! So far so good. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, that wasn't bad at all. Good line, Graham. <laughs> this could be a problem. Oh, even that wasn't bad, eh? Woo! A little bit of touching, not bad. We've been told that this section here is uh, really good for fishing. So we're just like a kilometer, half a kilometer down from Saugeen Access 13, um, just where it's split off into two sections. We went to the left and some people here told us to come back fishing in the spring here. What do you think guys, left or right? What? Right. 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 I think, right. I think right. This is a beautiful river. It's so nice. I'm loving this. It's a little offshoot, I think. It was really nice. A few little swifts to play in. Wasn't too shallow, but it was close. We saw a turtle and a sunken boat. And I think we're coming back out to the main river. Sarah is enjoying her book. We are cruising along. Oh, look at rope swing. Where? Oh. My oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so tempting. Crazy. What? Oh, I want to go up. Someone else hold us in. So we found a rope swing. It's got this ladder. This is gonna be fun. You ready? Well, that was a lot of fun. The, uh, the starting ramp kind of thing was cool. We are back on the water. Graham's had a little bit of a swim now. We're enjoying the paddle. It's really nice out here.
We got some relaxers coming up here. Chilling on the tubes, going down the river. It is super windy right now. Trying to push us back up river. <laughs> It is so windy. There are these gusts that are like throwing our canoe around and um, it's still totally awesome, but it is making it- and I have the hiccups. I'm looking at those hiccups. But it is making it a lot harder to paddle. You can see the bridges behind me there. They're access number 14. Uh, so we have seven and a half kilometers left to the next portage. <laughs> Little seagull islands there. Yeah, right in between. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Left is a rock here. And uh, yeah. Good. Perfect. So the boat's not touching, but it's super shallow here. Lincoln is leading us through the shallows. We're coming up to tons of rocks here. Let's see if we can find a good route through. Oh my Looks like we're coming up to a dam or a weir of some sort here. Got the barriers out. That's uh, good to see. Oh. Yeah, danger, dam ahead. Portage left. Sounds good. All right, here we are at the dam. Here's where we're gonna portage around. Thankfully, there's some nice stairs here for us. We got a bit of water in the can. A lot of water. Denny's Dam. Huh? What dam? We're at Denny's Dam. Well, we are here at Denny's Dam, um, and I think there's an Outfitters here. We don't really have any plans for getting back. We were thinking of um, bringing Graham's bike or just calling an Uber when we got here, um, but apparently Southampton has no Uber service at all. So I don't know, a taxi might be an option. Um, we ended up not bringing the bike. Um, or we'll just see if anyone's heading back that way. So Graham disappeared for like 10 minutes. It could have been more like five, but it felt like 10. Um, we had no service, so I couldn't call him or see where he was. Um, and uh, yeah, so I came down to the river here with the kids and I had cell service. Thought I would just hang out here. Um, he called me and said that he has a ride back to our van. Um, I don't know how or who or where, but he is going to get the van now, and we're going to hang out here. Kids are loving this. We're hanging out by the dam here, just waiting for Graham to get back with the van. Graham is finally back. He made it. He was able to get 
uh, ride back to Access 13 with the Outfitters here. They were just making their last run for the day, so he was able to hop on with that. And now we're going to take the canoe, load it on the van, and we might head to the beach for the evening.